turn. See how bad okay. that was? One, two. Maybe, uh. Ooh, this is so simple. Everybody does this one. Uh, uh. Ah! Okay, we're not doing that. Ah! <laughs> God. It was like in my bone. You are so dramatic. And you I, also hit me. It wasn't just me. It hurt because if you if it hurt. No, but that's because I'm stronger than you. There you go. It's been shattered. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That was what we needed. A friend of ours asked me how we could spend so much time together mm -hmm. and not fight. We don't she was spend like, that much time together. She was like, I know people do think that we're like at home and i'm like we are definitely we have our children. own room yeah like we have to have our own yeah. space i think if we like what if you had a sibling and you're just used to being around people all the time i think i would have gone crazy like if we didn't know if we didn't separate i don't i don't think but yeah they were like how do you do it and i was like what and they were like have you and monique ever had a big fight before and i was like mm, i think i don't remember it was in college though and i don't count it because we were just learning how to be like adults we had a big fight? I don't even remember it. It didn't last long, but we didn't talk for, to each other. It didn't last very long. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, I was told, I was definitely trying to be like, I'm not talking to her. I probably didn't even know you're mad. I'm sure you did. See, black square of communication. Anyway, doesn't matter. What does matter is our April update. We're here for the update. Yeah. Let's get into the video. Bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum. Duh. All right, let's get into this video. What are we doing this month? We have vacations. You guys see this? That's our month at a glance. You it's know, crazy. it's full. It's That's chock full. Crazy, color say. coordinated. Okay, that's for the patrons. They get all the juice. What we can talk about is what we have planned and for what this month in the world is happening. What's going on outside? Out there. It's like whatever the characters are. That's when the world wants to erupt in sound yeah. and beauty and dis dis dissonance dissonance mm -hmm. wonderful thank choice. you that's the word i wanted i've been I was... trying to use some vocabulary hey, words isn't it fun to use them book real. clubs book should we club. start with classic clit and just start off strong it is sarah's book this month we are going to be reading that sick love by someone that jesse jesse i cannot say it j-e-s-c-i-e -E, paul oh, jesse Okay. Yeah, Jesky Hall. Okay, Classic Clit is our Kindle Unlimited spicy romance mm -hmm. book club. Where we read a lot of smut. We read a lot of smut. We read and it on live. Yeah, we have with thoughts you guys about it. And we talk about it. Yeah, I feel really proud because I converted someone over to our book club recently. You did say that. Yeah. I was shocked. And it's a good friend of ours. So yeah. I think she's going to have a great time. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, This one I'm actually truly concerned about. So Sarah goes hardcore with yeah, her picks. So I think you guys should tune in for this one because I really feel like mm -hmm. our jaws will be on the ground. This is so Just, fun. Yeah, these are the best ones. Like the crazy ones. Whispers the, in the Dark. Yeah. The Ritual. Um, the Ritual. Den of Vipers. Den of Vipers. Yeah, I'm just repeating what you're saying. Yeah. But the even, ones. Even, even the Penny D. Credence. Credence. Lots of thoughts are had on these. Oh man, Credence. That's such a lots good one. Lots of thoughts, lots of discourse. Okay. Yeah. So again, tune in to Sarah's channel. Mm -hmm. I think our first friends are going to be on the 8th of April. Mm -hmm. at 5 30 ish p.m either 5 or 5 30 she'll have it on her stories and it's also going to be listed in our discord which that link is down below if you want to join just to have updates and info on that and then the second sprints are scheduled for the 22nd of april at 5 to 5 30 like whichever whichever one she decides but like i said she will put that in discord and also on our stories we'll be sharing that too mm -hmm. so that's our our pick for classic clit Yes. Or richer. Literature. I know, everybody always gets so funny about that when they're like, it's called cliterature? And I'm like, do you know who I am? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you know who I am? Anyway. We love wordplay. Another book club that we are also going to be reading a book for, which I was supposed to read this book last month. Wait, I have it here. Is Argyle. Movie night wah, book wah, club. Wah. We had originally scheduled our movie night for this to be on the 21st of April, but we kind of have made to change a boo -boo. it yeah because yeah. festival of books is that weekend and we have so many friends coming into town for that that we just won't be able to stream that on that sunday which is fine like loosey-goosey i feel like 
the, That's who the we vibe are. is yeah. what it is. I hope you guys aren't upset if you're reading this book. But yeah, so our stream for that is gonna just move to that Friday, the same week. It'll just be Friday at 5.30 p.m. PST, 8.30 p.m. EST. So have the book read. Let's do a watch party on um, wherever we're gonna stream it because I haven't looked that up yet, so sorry. And let's, let's enjoy this murder mystery book or like yeah. assassin's book. I don't even know what it's gonna be about, but I'm excited. Is it written by Taylor Swift? I hope we find out. We'll never know. You know, we'll never know. But the info for that will be uh, posted in our Discord and also, of course, on our stories on Instagram. So just make sure you're following us and checking those stories. Nice. Around that week is when that promo material will be coming out. And then we have some Patreon book clubs that we both host. Mm -hmm. I host a baking book club where we read a book and then we try to make a themed bakery <laughs> dish based off the book. Last month we did cereal for a book about not actually a serial killer but we tried to make homemade cereal and that was fun and then this month we're going to be reading Butter by Asako Yuzuki mm -hmm. and it is a food book. We're finally reading a food book and it's an original novel following a journalist in a contemporary Japan as she investigates a serial killer convicted of luring wealthy men with her cooking classes only to seduce and rob them. So okay. it's kind of explores misogyny and pleasures and pressures of food. So I feel like it's going to be a very fun read. Nice. And the thing we're making this <clears throat> month will be butter cookies. I feel like cookies like are your specialty. Yeah. So. But it can be really anything with like a butter base. Like maybe like, you know, you can make croissants or something. Croissant. Anything that ha you can maybe like laminate with butter. Mm -hmm. Being really detailed to the baking of it. But that's how I think about these kind of themes where it's not. And there might be a recipe in this book that is like a butter baked dish. Mm -hmm. That might be what I make. Change it up. But yeah, butter is the theme. I think what I love about Baking Book Club is that you generally set a theme and then members can kind of either choose to do what you're doing or choose in their own creative way a dish that they want to make. Yeah. Or a baking bakery item, a baked good. That's where I'm going with that. I'm all about <clears throat> using what you have in your kitchen. Yeah. I don't think it. you guys have to like, or everyone should you go have. out. Yeah, unless you want to try it. I'm, that's what I do. I like to try new things. So I always make something I've never had. So sometimes I do end up getting ingredients from the store, but yeah. Just depends. Yeah, we're low key over here in Baking Book Club. Nice. I love it. For Faux, which is Fantasy Over Everything, that's my Patreon book club. We generally focus on fantasy and a little bit of sci-fi books. So the pick that you guys voted on, patrons voted on for this month is Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. I've been wanting to read a Joe Abercrombie for so long. I feel like he's got some very good books. And this one I think is the perfect fit because it is small. very small. Oh, yeah, we're nice. starting small. So this one essentially just follows a young man named Yarvi. He is the like son of the ruler and he is born a weakling essentially. Has to go through all these trials and tribulations to like regain his throne because somehow he's lost it or something has happened to like basically like ostracize? Where am I going with that? Ostracize. Ostracize? I guess ostracize him from like the throne. So he has to essentially kind of sharpen his mind and use like his brains to get ahead in this world because he is not strong like physically. And it's kind of about him taking back what's his. This one has pretty good reviews and a pretty high star rating on Goodreads. So I'm hoping that this one is really good. I like it. We'll see. It's, I don't know much more adult, than that. It's adult, right? Yeah, it's adult. I and love the size of that. Yeah. That is like... Yeah, 340 that is a pages. And it's a fantasy book? And it's a fantasy book. Yeah, Monique wow. might be reading yeah, this Yeah, I'm month, like, y'all. You know? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. But for Faux, instead of doing like, kind of like one live show where we bake something, obviously, I generally just host sprints throughout the month. So we'll be having sprints for that on the Tuesdays of this month. So be on the lookout for that if you're a patron. And of course, if you want to join our Patreon, you're more than welcome to check that link out down below. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm reading books. I'm trying to read books that I own, aka okay, Christine owns. These are books that I anticipate try to get to for the trans readathon, and I did not get to them. I'm I am not an elite employee. Oh, I don't mean to get in that voice, but it just I know it just comes right there. out here. Um, so I will be reading them 
in the month of April. They are a lots of different kinds. I'm just holding them all up at one time. These are more nonfiction. This is just educational. About, educational yeah. about that. And then these are like first person accounts of um, their interviews with tra UK trans people. Okay. Um, and they're young, like they're young. They're and then very these young. are my fiction options. I've been meaning to try. Fiction, girl, go ahead and say fantasy. I don't know why you're trying to this play is these fantasy? books. fantasy? Yes, bitch. Yes. This is one of my favorite books. This one's sci-fi. This is one of my favorite this books of last book? year. This is a fantasy book. I'm home. Both of them are fantasy. Yes. This is not sci-fi. Monique. Okay. Well, <laughs> this was unexpected. This is so funny that you picked up two fantasy books. I should have known they were on your shelf. Yeah. And annotated. Come on, dude. Yeah, this one, I, I don't know because I don't think I can read this because I was look, flipping through it. Christy has this thing filled with notes. It's because it was for book club. Yeah, so I don't think I can read this and have my own thoughts because her thoughts are glued to the page. They're not literally. glued. They have. I know. I'm just. Oh, I was I'm like, being funny, but they are sticky notes. It's they do flap but, down though, but which they, is funny. Yeah, these are drop like, down. These one. are drop down notes. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if I. This one is like a drop down sticky note of like I, <laughs> what's going on. I've only read one book, Christine's annotated ones, and I remember having so much to talk to you about so maybe i should read your annotated book because i was like i disagree with this point and you're yeah like, because it was um it, it was, was like, shadow and bone and yeah. you were like how could you think this about mal oh yeah because i was i did like mal i was like and you I was like, are wrong I here like him. I, I like said, him better now though i was like this is wrong I was like this is not even what he's thinking about and you're like yes it is <laughs> Maybe I should read it like this. Yeah. I mean, I think you'll have a good time because I take extensive notes on yeah. the plot. So. so those are my options. Yeah, these are all great, great picks. I read yeah. these last year. Just a great time. All right, so I'm going to go into a couple of romances that I am going to be focusing on. The first one is going to be one of my 24 and 24 picks for this year. It's a recommendation from Noelle. It's Icebreaker. Y'all have seen this. You know it's a hockey romance. There's a very fun kind of back and forth between a skating, like skater, okay, ice skater and a hockey player. Skating romances, like from Lukov with Love, like I love that book. So I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one, okay? I don't know, everyone on the internet says it's good. It's time for me to get to it. I've heard it's a little spicy. I think I wanna read the second one in this series. That's the one that apparently everyone has DF'd. That's really, damn. Yeah. That's you should one. read it though. Everyone didn't the other one? That's the one that sounded the most interesting. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's okay. You don't have to like what everybody else likes. We because that's the one where she like goes with the, her ex's rival, right? Because that sounds like... I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at these at all. So, I There's don't know. one... Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. There's one where it's like... I think it's a hockey player or like... I think... They, I know it's a sports romance where the girl has a fake relationship with her ex's rival. And I, assuming they fall in love. That is fun. Right? Yeah. And, so if that's I, what everybody did enough, I was like, how could they do Wait be? a minute. Right? I might want to read that one too. If you read that one, I'm going to find I'll the read title. This one and, and we, we can, can switch. Yeah, I'll okay? find it. Yeah, because I want to read that one. Anyway, so I'm reading that this for sure this month. The other romance that I want to get to, which I think I'm going to pick up like at the beginning of the month, is The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. This is the same author that's The Fake Mate. We've been talking about this book recently because everyone's been reading The Fake Mate. And I just think the premise of this one sounds so like so funny. Essentially, it's like a person who is on OnlyFans, like a site like OnlyFans, and one of her fans needs a a nanny. And she ends up nannying for him, not knowing he's a fan. And then he sees her come in to be a nanny and he's, he's like, like oh, oh god. my god i pay you money to watch you do things so anyway i think that is such a fun premise and just so funny because like what is gonna happen between these two so it'll be my first lana ferguson she's really good at banter okay great really that's funny. what i love that's what yeah. i love so i think i'm gonna love this book um and it'll be a change of pace from all the omega verse that like we've been yeah. reading recently I, I know you don't have to talk about okay, it okay let's talk about it but yeah so i'm it, i'm excited for this one this one apparently has really great mental health rep as well which i always appreciate and love of. So these are definitely two romances that I'm getting to this month. Nice. The other book oh, 
that don't know what that is. Some could say is a romance. <laughs> okay, the gin waits 100 years. I am trying my hardest this year to read through my own TBR. It will not be completed this year. I know that, but I am trying to read books that are interesting to me at the time and that I own. So the gin waits 100 years is one of them. This, of course, was gifted to me by Monique during one of our Patreon Pixar TBR videos. So essentially, there's a gin that's like haunting this house. This young girl comes into it, sees all these uh, remnants from the previous owner who like died 100 years ago. And she's like, what is this girl's story? Like what's going on? Not knowing that the gin is haunting the house. And so she kind of discovers this love story. Um, and the the last final like notes here are a love story, a mystery, all twined beautifully into one girl's search for belonging. So I think the love story is probably going to be told like obviously like in a past tense, you know, like it's already happened kind of way. So it's not like a current between her and the gin. And then the mystery obviously is going to be like, how did the woman die? What happened? You know, did the gin why kill he her? Trapped there? Yeah. Like why is the gin there? And then of course, like our young, you know, our young person, like her whole story and maybe how she finds a sense of belonging between this person's possessions and also maybe a friend in this gin. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see what kind of gin it is. Anyway, I'm excited because I love gin. You know, I love a mystery. I love a gothic tale. So I think I'm gonna have a good time with this and I can't wait to get into it. Nice. Yeah. There's lots of books, you know, I like I like to shop my shelves. So depending on the mood, I'll pick up something. Yeah. But I am trying to read things I am like, am I gonna like it or am I gonna give this away? And one of those books is pretty much all the book of the months that we have. And that is gonna be Karen Slaughter. I'm about to say the wrong name. I always say Slater. Karen Slaughter. I always say Slater. I'm like, that's not right. Karen Slaughter girl forgotten this is essentially a like cold case it told from i think the main character is a u.s marshal so she comes back to town and is looking for more clues about the character emily who has been murdered sadly and so she's technically there for her job which is to protect a judge but really she's trying to figure out what happened to emily emily is a like a high school athlete, really popular. I think she goes missing during prom. And it's been like 40 years. No one else has gone on. Mm. And I, I'm assuming it's a small town. But like it says literally it was like a girl with a secret. An unsolved murder. One final chance to catch the killer. Sounds like book of the month. Yeah. It seems like a pretty good thriller. Yeah. Probably hits all the beats. I feel like this is something I will most likely unhaul once I've read it. Yeah, I was like, I know, I see your, I see your strategy. And I think with our recent, guys, have you seen our shelves? You're going to see our shelves before the video even comes out. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. We recently redid our shelves. Yeah. So I think with that in mind, like we're reading more intentionally with what we have and what we can unhaul. So we don't have, you know, the stack is still there. Of There's lots of books. stacks everywhere. Yeah. But, like, wouldn't it be nice to just have, like, space? no stacks? Yeah. Or just one stack on one end of a table? Yeah. That'd be great. Concepts. Yeah, we're trying it. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying. Read the we're books trying. you buy, you know? Yeah. It's fun to buy books, but it's also fun, more fun, I think, to read them. I love giving them to people, too. Yeah. Especially, so I feel like, you know, if I think someone's going to really like it and yeah. I didn't like it, you know? So once I read this, I feel like this will most, unless it's, like, the best thing I've ever read, which could be. It's most we'll likely, see. Yeah. We it's sure most likely we'll going see. to be something that I will then pass on to someone else. I like it. And that also. is my plan for April. Okay, nice. I'll wrap it up here. So instead of doing the series continuation books, because I'm pretty caught up with that, I have like four more on my list from the beginning of the year. So I'm taking a pause on that because there are a bunch of books that have come out and are coming out in the next couple of weeks that I really, really, really want to read. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to do a vlog for that, whatever, but I will tell you the three that are new releases in April that I will be getting to. It's going to be the last and final Bergman Brothers. Like y'all know oh I'm a boy. champion. I know. Oh I know. Boy. I know. I am a champion of this series. I tell everybody, everybody, everybody to read it. And I cannot wait to get to this final one. It's going to be very bittersweet, sad, but lovely, all wrapped up into one book. It's coming out on April 2nd. And I cannot wait to literally go to the bookstore and buy this book. Yes, I am no longer on a book buying ban. Um, <laughs> and now with licensed. This, yeah, I am now an elite employee of <laughs> Barnes & Noble. I will be getting into that one. And then the other one that's coming out on the 2nd is sequel to Silver Under Night 
Nightfall, which is called Court of Wanderers. This is a book that I read for Battle of the Books last year that I really, really loved, Asian fantasy. And it's one of like the, a, a polyamorous relationship that I really like and I think is done really, really well. So I'm just excited to get back with these characters because some stuff happened at the end of the first book that just kind of like took me for a loop and I don't really know where it's gonna go from here. But the vibes are right for this book. I mean, it's like vampires, but like make it old gothic. Like I'm talking like almost medieval in some ways because they're like chopping people up with swords. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's just cool. I love it. And I'm having a great time. So hopefully more than likely getting to that one. And then another sequel that is coming out on April 11th. This is also a sequel to one of the books from Battle of the Books last year. It is the book that broke the world which is the sequel to the book that wouldn't burn which y'all know was just so so great and i loved it and so this one is just the continuation the sequel to that one in that trilogy and yeah i'm hoping that i get Not to all three matching. of those yeah i think i did that subconsciously because i definitely got dressed after you sorry sometimes i just like to match because it looks also better on camera yeah you know and this, you know, this just made me laugh because i had no idea that we we're matching yeah so i looked at the yeah thing. the brown aesthetic <laughs> yeah you mentioned sequels and i forgot i am reading a sequel you are next month yeah is it the three body problem sequel yeah the dark forest you know what that means guys she's finished book number one in Damn. three body problem what is mo read a book that's not romance yes i did shocker Y'all, Three Body Problem, I, it has been a long awaited, but I loved it. Like once I actually sat down and like turned my brain on, I just right felt like, I just love a book that makes me feel like I'm a physicist or something. I'm just like, okay, man. Okay, you felt smarter. Love it. I am, I am definitely, yeah, an astrophysicist mm -hmm. after reading Three Body Problem. Mm -hmm. I might, be, I can help you solve these problems. Meanwhile, I'd be lost the whole time. I'd be like taking the notes. No, because. Still not knowing what's going on. That's what, no, I won't say, but. Spoiler. I love that you segued into that because that leads us into my next topic of conversation, which was going to be videos that are coming out this month. Oh, yes. Obviously, we're doing the update today. That's what you guys are watching. But Monique also has a three body problem vlog coming out. I do. Which is super exciting. We have our patron TBR video from last month, as well as our shelf organization video. All of it's filmed. It's done. It's just waiting to be put out into the world mm -hmm. so you guys can consume it. My Battle of the Books quarter one video will be at the end of the month premiering. And then I also have a vlog coming out. I just have to decide which one it's gonna be. So yeah. Good problems to have. Yeah, lots of lots of content. Lots yeah. and lots of content. Of course, we're gonna be filming our Patreon Picks RTBR video again this month. Yep. And I have to say, I'm having a lot of fun I know. with these ones because it, it gets Monique and I out into LA to do a new like fun activity. But it's also a mystery. Like, what are we going to do that day? I love a game. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's definitely a game because our patrons are really good at, like, picking a book that we both haven't read, you know, a place that we haven't gone. You know, it's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to do that. But, yeah, I think that's all of the updates yeah. and things that we're going to be doing this month. You guys saw the calendar. It is super crazy chaotic because my parents are coming into town. Monique is going to Coachella. Like... We've got D and D on the schedule, but we are still gonna have our patron movie night, patron sprints, like all of our normal activities. It's just gonna be a little chaotic, so buckle up. Yeah, hold tight. Hold tight. Read Argyle if you haven't yet. Yeah, read Argyle. Read Butter, cause actually Butter, Butter <laughs> there comes on the sixteenth. So good luck to you. <laughs> Hopefully it's an easy read. I mean, it's like a murder thriller mystery yeah. thing, right? So I feel like it might be fast paced. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Um, but yeah, we're getting in our bag this month with content. So it's going to be fun. Hopefully, you know, you guys enjoy it. Yeah. And that's really all I've got. Shall we end it with our handshake? You're supposed to... I feel like it needs to be faster. Uh, uh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt good. It's the touching thing for me that's a little weird, but it's fine. I'm going to get over it. It's a bonding activity. Yeah, I've got to get into the exercise of bonding. Yeah. I don't have to camaraderie i feel like we have it innately but maybe it's good to have a a symbol a of physical it. let me just go on a tangent if you want to log off see you later love you bye let me just go on one tiny tangent for this video because i feel like it is a little quick you know we, we need to stretch it out a little longer it's because 
someone was telling me the importance of a crown. I say someone, it was in a fantasy book I was reading. <laughs> I, was like, I know that was crazy laugh. <laughs> but they were talking about the importance and the symbolism of a crown and why that's important to have somebody wear the crown because you can be a king but if you're a king without a crown, no one is going to believe who you are, mm. right? So you got to get back to where you can wear it proudly. Right, right. So you've got to get the symbol, you know what I mean? And show the people who you are, mm -hmm. right? That's taking it to a deep, deep, deep level. Yeah, well, it's like, okay. But the point of this is just like, obviously. Wouldn't, wouldn't, this, wouldn't this space that we've created be the symbol? That's a, that's a body of work, I would think, you know? Okay. But So the handshake is more the symbol. The handshake is more... The space that we, are you talking about the spaces in our home or like booktube? Booktube. That's oh, the space that we've created online. on the internet is a safe space and it's a, it's a wonderful place, but yeah. it's us and the community. It's us in the community. Fair. The fair. handshake is just us. I hear you. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And that was the point of the exercise. It's like we do so many things with other people, for other people, you know, Okay. but we have to do something like for ourselves. And it was just something us. easy to tackle right, today right exactly okay because we don't spend time doing just us things we do things for everyone everyone and that's not, not a complaint like we don't yeah yeah that's enjoy not a doing that yeah i hear what you're saying but the point is like we also need to make sure that we are because we are friends and we're family I hear that you. we are spending family quality time together okay so my next suggestion is we should watch the next two episodes of shogun you want to know something? You were going to say that. You, wanna, no, you, you already watched better. them. I got their four I got episodes an account out. With no ads. <laughs> <laughs> no ads! <laughs> we are spoiled! We are up! <laughs> no ads! So <laughs> amazing. Okay, well, that's the best news I've heard all day. So that's pretty much all I can leave y'all with, okay? <laughs> point is we love you we love each other we love sherman sherman loves you and it's all connected <laughs> it's all redlining that's it that's the video if you like this video give it a like for us comment down below a book that you're gonna get to in april if you're doing a buddy read with someone mm -hmm. let us know what's going on in the community are you going to la festival of books because if you are we're gonna be there and we're gonna be passing out i forgot to even say that we're gonna be at the la festival of books what the heck that was our big announcement that was that's the, the reason thing. We, well one of the reasons we sat down down, my say, gosh we're gonna be there we are saturday sunday we're gonna be there both days yeah so, so we we'll us, be at la hi. festival books all weekend we have some really fun stuff planned for that weekend so please come say hey if you're gonna be there we're passing out temporary tattoos bookish tattoos so please come get one of those introduce yourself say hey and yeah it's gonna be great hopefully we see you at some panels anyway that was it quick and easy we love right. you guys and yes. we're signing off until next time bye, bye. Bum bum da 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 bum bum da